In this class, we are going to look at how to update any record in database with the help of Oracle integration. In order to achieve the use case, let me clone one of the integrations which we created in our previous class. I will clone test db select. Here instead of select, I will name this as update. Click on clone. Edit this integration. Now let me edit this wizard. So in the dialog, we have to change this run a SQL statement to perform an operation on a table. Here we have to select update. Click on next. Here we need to select the table. Now I will select the schema. This is my schema where I have created this table. Click on search. Select this and toggle it on the right side. Click on import tables. Now we have selected the employee table. View and manage parent database table relations. That is you can view and manage all the relationships that are reachable from the parent table via adapter. We, here we can have a relationships created between the tables. Like the changes in one table should affect another table. All those things we can handle creating the relationships. Now our focus of interest is adding the filters over here. Click on edit. Now here what and all columns we need to update. We can mention it over here. So since employee ID is a primary, we cannot set it to null. Click on OK. Suppose if we don't want the salary to be updated, we can uncheck that. Click on next. Click on done. Click on reset. The mapper has gone. Now let me add the mapper back. Go for map and select our invocation that is this one select the developer and XSLT mode here we have to map from the input I am mapping employee to employee details it will automatically create the for each for us since this is an unbound element and this is as well unbound mapping id to employee id name to name and salary to salary then click on validate click on close now in the response we won't get any data so we'll modify the mapping in the response over here select the developer and xslt now we'll remove the mapping which we had done for select now click on validate click on close click on close and save now click on activate and run the integration Now in the body, we will try to update details for bill. We will change the name of the bill. We will add the second, last name as well as we will modify the salary of bill. So employee ID of bill is 1. Name is bill. M will put. And the salary will increment his salary by $100. As of now, I will test with only one employee. Click on test. Yeah, it's a success let's verify from here let me run the query again yeah it has updated the salary of bill to ten thousand hundred dollars and the name is bill m let me check this for multiple employees let's check verify if it is working or not we'll update mike mike's salary is twenty thousand so we'll add five hundred dollars extra for him Employee is Mike. His employee ID is 2. 
so i'll modify his salary by 500 dollars yeah click on test it's a success let's verify from here let me rerun the query oh i didn't change the name of the mic but his salary part exceeded by 500 let me change the name as well mic a click on test let me verify from here Mike's name got changed that is to Mike A and the salary is 2500. Now let's see what happens if we try to update the details for an employee which is not present. I will modify the data over here. I will put the employee ID is 8, name Samson and salary something. Click on test. It's showing a success but if we run here, nothing got changed. So we will see in our next class how to do this in case if the record is not present then it will try to insert into the table.